All right, let's look at adding things to a linked list. And we're going to start with adding things to the front of the linked list. So we have our list, and initially, remember when we call our constructor for our linked list, the first thing that happens is that head is set to null, and current size is set to zero. We can ignore current size. You just have to remember that you're going to increment it or decrement it. So head initially starts off as null. So we want to add something to the linked list, and so we create one of these node classes, and our node class has next, and it has data. Okay. So when we have an empty linked list, all we have to do is take head, point it to our new node, and we're done. Now we're going to add another node at the beginning of the list. The way that we do that is that we create another node. Here's next, and here's data. And what's, what do we do next? If we move the head, here's our head. If we take our head and move it to point here, what points to A? Nothing. And what happens to A? It gets garbage collected, right? Because nothing points to it anymore. So we can't do that. That's a bad move. So we've got our list where we've got head here, pointing to A. So the first thing that we have to do is take our new node and make next also point to A. Now we can take head, we can move head, head points to B, and head.next points to A. If we want to add another node, we create the node, we make the next pointer point to our current head, we take our head pointer, and we make that point to our new node, okay? And so we're growing our linked list by adding things always to the beginning. If I have three things in my list and I want to add a fourth element to it, how many things do I have to look through to find the point where I'm adding it? No, not three. I, I know where head is, right? So if I want to add something at the beginning, all I say is here's my new node. I'm going to set my pointer and I'm going to move my head pointer. I haven't had to go all the way through the list to add something, right? So what's the complexity of adding to the beginning of a linked list? It's one, exactly. Let's have a look at the code for adding to the beginning of a linked list. So our method is public void add first, and we take an E object, so the first thing we have to do is create our new node. Before we can do anything else, we have to create our new node. So that looks something like this. So node E, let's just call it node with a little n, is equal to new node E with object. We don't care what object is. 
That's what we've been told to add. We just pass it off to our node class. Our node class puts that in data, remembers it, and initiates null, uh, next to point to null. So the critical order here is the first thing we have to do is take our new node and say node.next is going to point to the first node. So here's head. Here's our node that exists already with data and next. So the way that we find out what, where that node is, is we say, we just use head, right? Because head points to the first node. We've got our new node. Here's our new node. So what we're going to do is we're going to say node.next is going to point to the same node that head is pointing to, the same place in memory that head is pointing to. So node.next is equal to head. And now we take our head pointer and we move that to point to our new node. Head is equal to node. Notice when we do this that we're just adding E's. We don't care what E's are. We're not involved in that. We just put them in our node class, and that's handled by our inner class. And the other thing that's really critical is to get the order of these two lines correctly. If you don't do that, if you get those two lines the wrong way around, you're going to have you're going to start off with your head pointing to your original node. If you set head to point to your new node first, you'll break this link, and this will get garbage collected away. Okay. So current size gives you constant time access to the size of the linked list, except you have to remember to increment it when you add something and decrement it when you remove something. All right, what about our five conditions? What's the first one of our five conditions that we need to worry about? If we have an empty linked list. So when we have an empty linked list, head just points to null. Does, this, does it matter that head points to null in this case. We make a new node, data, and next. And remember, when we initiate our new node, in the constructor in the node inner class, it says node.next is equal to null when we initiate it. That's why, um, that's what this will be null. So what we say is we've got our new node. We set node.next equal to head. Well, head points to null. So all we're doing is making node.next also null. Then we take head, and we point that to our new node. And we break that link. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when you're adding at the beginning of a linked list if your list is already is empty. Now we've got a one element list. Does it matter? Do we have to worry about a one element list? So when we add to a one element list, we create a new node. We say node.next is equal to head. Node.next is equal to head. Head is equal to new node. So we don't, there's nothing special that we need to worry about here for a single element list. Okay. That's what I mean by having to go through all of those five conditions. 
If you're working in the middle, it doesn't matter because we're doing add first. Hopefully, we've got our beginning of our list sorted out because it's the add first method. And we're not working at the end because we're going to keep adding first. So in this case, we're good for those five conditions.